How's it going, people? Well, I'm still enjoying my first pot of coffee. It's warmed up a little since my last attempt at a video, which I'll probably still put up uned unedited. Yeah, my camera just stopped working on me uh, right in the middle of the video. So I guess that's all we're getting. Because I'm not, I'm into one takes only. Sorry. <laughs> We missed the rest of that first take. Too bad. Anyhow. I've been wanting to read some material that came from my grandparents uh, and the, you know, the religious uh, indoctrination center of my childhood. <sighs> this is a tract from their church. I just happened to be there visiting my aunt who lives behind it. It's not a church, by the way. It's a meeting hall. A Sunday go to meet and hall. They don't... That's why they're the right ones, because they, they know better to call themselves a church. Anyway. Don't guess. No! That's what faith's all about. You don't really need to find out the truth, because they copyrighted the word truth, and now it means whatever they're promoting. Scientologists are doing something similar, but theirs is reality. Yeah, sounds like a science fiction writer would do that. But anyway, yeah, they got reality. Christianity has the truth. Copyrighted. Trademark. Oh. That helps. It's warmed up again. It's been like an hour since the last time I tried the video. So. Now I'm using my MacBook because I can't trust my damn camera to keep going. Guessing is bad business. What about educated best guessing? Just wondering. When your life or your soul, which is your afterlife, uh, is at stake. That's the eternal part of you that's perishable and so fragile, but all-powerful at the same time. Faith. Substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things unseen or not seen, which is the same thing, but it means something different when you put it that way. I have not read this in advance, but I doubt I'll be surprised with any of its content. Guessing is bad business in a hospital. They like doctors who know. Yeah, but... Mm. Guessing is also bad business when you are about to depart from this world. This place. Where all the reality is happening in the moment. But it's all preordained. There's really someone at the tiller, honest. Couldn't just be spinning out of control. There must be control. You can control reality. Okay. As each of us must do some day. But, you know, just that one time, then you get another life that never ends. It's it's like, you know, the whole caterpillar cocoon butterfly thing, I guess. Right now you're all caterpillars. Little worms. Isn't that nice? I prefer that to sheep, actually. Not that I have anything against the actual herbivore, but as a metaphor, kind of lame. <clears throat> yeah, ram tough. Then, at the threshold of eternity, we will want to know what lies 
different meaning lies is in it's out there <laughs> way out there uh, know what lies beyond way out there in never never land <sighs> we will want facts about shit nobody could possibly know about really because if you're alive and I've done plenty of near-death video debunkeries. I hope you look at some. <sighs> Nobody knows this shit. It's very possible, you know, it's like when a light bulb burns out. Does it have an afterlife? Sure, sort of. If you turn it to something else. But it's not what it's. It does. It isn't what it used to be, and none of us ever are. Hopefully, because that's how you grow or digress, or like I'm doing, you know, regress, like I'm not doing. Okay. Positive facts. Nothing to do with comforting lies. Positive facts. The ones we like. The ones we've decided, yeah, if we were writing the reality book, we'd write those in and cross a whole bunch out. If only you could control reality. And I don't think anyone can do that, or anything. <sighs> From God's Word, those positive facts will come. Uh, and here are some of them. Oh, good. This is important. Pay attention. Eternity. There is an eternity. There you go. That matter is solved. And there is a judgment that hopefully won't be eternal. I mean, it sounds like it's finite. It's just boom. You know, the finite crimes, the infinite overkill. But, you know, revenge is that way. You know, it's akin to uh, unconditional love, I guess. <sighs> God's Word says, And I saw the dead, they capitalized dead, small and great stand before God. Also capitalized, but not the whole word. Just the first one. Then there's a lacuni. That they indicate with three dots. So we're having a little uh, poetic pause as we jump ahead in that very verse, leaving some out because it was impertinent or expedient. Limited space. Uh. Although I noticed the last page of this was blank. Well, no, it isn't. But there was still room at the end. They had more room. Cowards. Okay. It is appointed unto men to die. To once, wait, it is appointed unto men once to die. Just once. Here we go. Sorry, the sun is shifting on me, so I'll shift on it. <sighs> okay. Yeah, once. But after this, the judgment. And judgment isn't capitalized in the in the biblical citation there. But they do. It didn't. And that's Hebrews 9.27. Put that in your ammo box. It'll come in handy, probably. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, all right. That little cuny threw me off. Sorry. Uh, and the dead were judged out of those men things which were written in the books according to their works. Because without works, faith is dead. But faith, but works are dead without faith or something weird like that. So you can't be good without God. And the right one. Even if it's in three parts, it all makes sense if you don't think too much about it. All right, but anyway, you can find that in Revelations 2012. We're back on course. 
<sighs> Been a while, I'm rusty. Mm. That's why I need lubrication here. Let's say hydration. Leave it that. Yeah, hydration. Out of coffee. I don't get many days off. Uh-oh. Uh Where'd that cork go? There it is. On the ground. That's good. Good thing this is probably antibacterial. I hope. <laughs> Either that or I should have got with a Bible program there and now it's too late. I'll be, you know, getting a pitch, pitchfork in the butt for eternity while I'm getting branded and burned and tormented and gnashing my teeth. No time to reload. We gotta keep going. Mm. Oh boy. Highly recommended. Single malt with an interesting story. You could probably ask if you go to BevMo, they might know the story. I think there was a documentary that turned me on to that. All right. Now we're on to a different verse. Looks like it's an entire. Uh, Quote, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Just not the same one. It's a whole different one. But you're going to love it. Trust them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. And you can find that in Romans 6.23. So have it handy. Yeah. God's love. Oh, you know what? I was on the wrong page. Sorry. It doesn't matter. I'll put it all together you know, without any editing, probably. Um, our sins. I was reading the wrong page, but I'll skip that part when I get to it. Uh, you and I know we have them. Unless you're a Scientologist and they're probably Thetans or Thetans. Or, I think it's Thetans. Damn, that Xenu. <sighs> Maybe not as many as the next fellow, but enough to keep us out of heaven. <laughs> and we're into a quotation here. Looks complete. There is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So that, boom, that's how they get, get that, you know, with some extrapolation. Uh, Romans 2.22 and 2.23. God, two whole verses without a lacuna. Their penalty, those sins of ours. Oh, we're just going straight to a quotation now. they got nothing more to say. This says it all, apparently. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth. In thy youth. So we, we know who they're talking to now. <sighs> and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. Okay, I did that, more or less, in a sometimes self-destructive way, but I'm better now. And walk in the ways of thine heart. Yeah, it was singular, uh, present tense. Uh, and in the sight of thine eyes. Hey, buddy! My neighbor dog's coming over to visit me. Hey, buddy! Oh, oh! Now there's both of them are here. Sweet. Hey, buddy. So far they haven't knocked anything over. So let's continue. I don't think they ended up on the camera though, did you? Did you? And Loki's like up on the 
<laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, handsome devil. Both of you. Like I said, I like to let life happen when I'm doing a video. And there's Loki up there going, I'm not sure I dig this. Yep, he's decided to go in. Hey guys, come over here. Over here. Yeah, you'd rather hang around with me than piss me off and go mess with my cat. All right, back to the video. Yeah, good boys. Anyway, I love to let life happen in videos. Uh, <laughs> and the sight of thine eyes, we're not sure who. I guess they mean your own eyes. I guess that's like your own lights. Hey, buddy. <laughs> but know thou that for all these things, God will bring thee unto judgment. I don't know, man. If dogs can't get into heaven, man. <sighs> Sorry, man. Dogs and cats. Sorry, Loki. <sighs> He doesn't know about these two guys yet, but they've been pretty cool so far to him. You know, they got cat friends. <laughs> They're not racist or speciesist. <sighs> so I prefer dogs sometimes. They're the, my favorite people. Okay. Um, but know thou that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. Not a capitalized judgment. And that's Ecclesiastes 11.9. Could be useful. If you just take that little part, say it applies to that other part, which I'm not so sure it really did. Uh, oh, we're into a whole other quotation here. The fearful and unbelieving, I think that's the other way around, the unbelieving and those fearful folks that believe. It's all about fear. Then hedging your bets. It's kind of windy around here. I don't know if that picks up on the camera, but we'll see what the audio turns out to be. Uh, yeah, fall has fallen on Mount Hope. The fearful and unbelieving and the abominable that. And murderers. I won't drink to that. Though. Oh, you brought me a stick. Hey. <laughs> Careful, you're going to knock my computer over. <sighs> and whoremongers and sorcerers. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. This is the first. You're going to knock everything over, aren't you? I'm going to have to move some shit, man. Uh, to be continued. Nope, we'll keep doing this. All right. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> Sorcerers and idolaters. Almost like they're one and the same thing. You unplugged me. That's not going to work. This, this is an old Mac. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. <laughs> That's a reality. <laughs> totally out of control. I love it. <laughs> and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. Them too. Good. <sighs> I'm kind of too lazy to lie, so I try not to, unless I have to. I'm pretty good when I have to, though. I'll be honest. Hey. Oh, you smell some of my... Oh, you already found that. I was going to throw you that... What's left of my quesadilla. This, this guy is badass. It's Alaska. Alaska. Hey, buddy. And that's Otis, who's tearing something up. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, we're getting educated here. So they're running away now. Okay. <laughs> All liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire. Well, that's... They kind, you kind of need one for the other. Well, maybe not. I mean, well, the burning part you can have with lots of things. But uh, fire burning, you know. Too bad they didn't have more knowledge. They could have said, ooh, we're going to throw you in a vat of acid forever. And it just keeps dissolving you. And where the fuck is the sun? Where the fuck is the sun? God damn it. As you can see. We're doing this on the fly. That's fine. Fuck it. Thank you, dogs. I love dogs. Love critters. <sighs> and some people. <sighs> Link, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You get two of them. But that's it. Third strike and... Well, you don't get that. You're already out. I get two. Anyway, that, that's that's in Revelations 21.8. But I'll tell you what. I should just read the entire Bible for yourself in order. Start at the first verse. Keep going. They told me not to do that with the Book of Mormon, but I not only did I not do that, I even turned it into a drinking game where you drink every time it says, and then it came to pass. Made a complete fool of myself and put it out there in public. Good thing no one's watching. <sighs> well, yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh, and we're on to... Uh, we're going to jump back to Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death. But even if you never sinned, but you did already, by drawing your first breath pooping and peeing and stuff, and being mortal and human. How disgusting. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, and you'll never have to poop or pee again. You'll be too busy singing and playing that harp. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. Hell's reality. Now, I did that one. I got to skip ahead because I was out of order the first time. Okay. This is... This is fun. Okay. Ah. Uh. God's love, we're skipping ahead to the good part. There is a good part, isn't that nice? But God commandeth his, his, capitalized, so it's his, love towards us. He commandeth it that he loves us. He's bossing himself around now. Damn it, love him. Quit being such a horrible father figure. In that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Because that was the humane thing to do. It all makes sense somehow. I, I'm not sure how, but supposedly it does. So, okay. <sighs> yeah, but God commandeth his love toward us. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thanks for that. Hey, what's up? <laughs> My cousin just showed up. Hey! <laughs> no. I'm making a video real quick, but, you know, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Hey, the door's open if you want. Making a video, eh? Yeah. I've already had the dogs and everything interrupt. <laughs> hey! Yeah, this is not Otis. The other one? That's Alaska. That's Alaska, right? Alaska. Alaska. There's Otis. There Otis. It is. Oh, that's Keith. He's all right. You don't need to bite him or chew on yeah. him. <laughs> it's on. But, all right. Oh. Hey, Otis. I'm going to continue my video, but that's cool. All right. 
Oh man, this is incredible, Rich. <laughs> you love it, huh? The sound stays the same and everything. Uh, on that one mode shuffle, but I haven't thoroughly checked it out yet. Well, that's just it. You got plenty of time to thoroughly check it out. So when, whenever you're ready, I'd say just, you know what, play with it for a while. Keep it simple. And after a, it lasts a long time, you'll probably experiment some with it. You know? Oh, man. You got to check it out one of these days. Uh, yeah, it's got some good sound. Well, hey, I just threw the whole kitchen sink in there. And <laughs> There's so many songs, man. It's going to take uh, weeks just to go over. But, uh, months. Months, months. Maybe a year. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to listening to uh, years I like walking with that taking to work. This one, since the battery just went out. On the other one, I I actually uh, played it for about two or three hours over at the house working. So it lasted like, oh. two or three hours. Yeah. About well, three. it's old. It's old. But it's still working good. Well, no wonder you're you're concerned about it. But that's why I'm saying put this new one to the test because when they're young, you want them exercised a little bit. Okay. So they get strong, and their kung fu is good. Yeah. <laughs> the kung fu. Is good. Oh, hey. Oh. Uh, Jonathan gave you back the samurai movies. I got all five of them. Uh, Too bad you didn't right. show up last night. You'll miss out. Oh, uh, I had to work. Uh, hey, you know what? Bill. That's cool. Well, let me finish this video. Okay. But uh, I'm going to put this in the house, and then uh, I was going to take a walk to the store. Okay. Then I'll be back. Okay. okay. I'll be done with this video by then. Okay. I'm probably not going to edit this. I like the. Oh. I like to let things all. So you're in it, whether you like it or not. Oh no. That's all right. No one will. No one will judge you for this. Uh, not. Not this life. <laughs> uh, that was cousin Keith. You can see why I haven't been making many videos now. I think I've been making friends and being busy. Damn, that's so smooth. Mm, Got to try it. <laughs> so anyway, that was Rubens, 5'8", about, God loved us so much he had to impregnate a virgin with himself, I think, and then sacrifice himself to himself to protect us from, well, from his wrath, because we're so damn disappointing, even though he made us apparently are, are being disappointing. It turns out that's our fault. And so we got to get on board with this human sacrifice thing. And cannibalism and vampirism and, you know, exsanguination and, you know, sick, crazy cult crap. But only symbolically. So it's really, you know, what is it, uh, you know, Manischewitz and, uh, and pie crust. Hey, buddy! Hey, Otis, you want to be in my video? There he is. You handsome devil, you. And he is very demonic, I can tell. He probably hasn't been born again. It's not his fault. He knoweth not whatever the fuck he's doing. I'm going to finish this, goddammit. All right. Into another quotation here. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, capitalized S, that whosoever believeth in him, that guy in the sky, who's going to give you pie when you die. That's what the song says. Okay. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. All right, see you in a bit. He can't hear me. He's got his MP3 player on. <laughs> Give an MP3 player and you can't talk to my cousin anymore. People are like, God, he walked right by me. <sighs> life on Mount Hope is interesting. Yeah. Whomsoever 
Now, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. I almost didn't have to recite it. We've all heard it. Still prefer Austin 316. <laughs> Christ's sacrifice. Don't, don't guess. No. Mm. Refreshing. Christ sacrifice for Christ also hath once suffered for sins, but not his. He didn't have any. So he had to get some. So he should be thanking us for providing the sins. Otherwise, doesn't he look silly dying like that for us if we're not sinning? So you get some sins when you're born, you know, those are like automatic, you know. It's like, hey, we'll start you off with a punch on your card. It all makes sense to some people anyway. <sighs> and just, f uh, the just for the unjust. Sounds like socialism somehow. That he might bring us to God. See, that, that makes some fucking sense. Some fucked up fucking sense. <laughs> to somebody. Anyway, you can find that in... <sighs> 1 Peter 2, 18 and Galatians 4, 1, 4. They slipped two past by me. That was a twofer. But they went together so well. Even though it was Galatians and John. I... Okay. Uh, uh, no, 1 Peter and Galatians. Excuse me. I'm reading ahead again. Sorry. I'm just so impatient to find out how this all ends. And if I'm going to hear anything I haven't heard before yet. Another dead soldier. Tragic. Faith's efficiency. He that heareth my word, capitalized W, and believeth on him that sent me, because he's him, me is him. Or will be. I'm not sure. I don't know how that... I don't understand the physics of that. That knowledge, that truth, that reality that you agree on. But I'm on the other side of the fence. I'm not even on it. I'm on totally like moving past that fence completely. And going, alright, there really is nobody at the wheel. Well, you better try to take the wheel real quick. <laughs> but then again, we've been all right so far, I guess. <sighs> he that bringeth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life. Thanks. I'll consider it. But not this one, right? Uh, a awesome super one like a fantasy over the rainbow and all never never land wouldn't that be nice wouldn't it be nice and come wait and shall not come into condemnation because that's the other option the only other option you got two options you can't even abstain. But is passed from death unto life, that other one, that, you know, magical, miraculous 
other afterlife, after this life. But it is passed from death unto life. John 5, 24. Have you faced these facts? I didn't know they owned the word facts. So they have facts and they have the truth. And Scientology has reality and communication and affinity. They've got affinity. Infinity. All right. We're almost done. The child of God accepts them all calmly and joyfully. He no longer dreads eternity. Is it eternity people dread or is it oblivion? But belongs to be home with his Savior. His sins are forgiven no matter what they might be. He might need to recharge once in a while to get rid of new ones. Those damn thetans, they just keep accumulating, don't they? For some folks. He is eternally delivered from God's judgment. Whew. That's a good thing. Because he's one hard ass. But the death of an... Wait. By the death of another. Thank you, Jesus, for, like, taking that hit for me. I'm free and clear thanks to you. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Uh, that totally makes sense. Why people believe that shit. Was done. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Have you faced these facts? Here they come. The child of God accepts them all calmly and joyfully. Okay, that's handy. <laughs> He no longer dreads eternity, but longs to be home with his Savior. That isn't pitiful at all. That ain't lame. No, it isn't. His sins are forgiven. He is eternally delivered from God's judgment by the death of another. He rejoices at God. Go, he rejoices in God's love for him. Wait, God's love for him. God is capitalized and him is capitalized. I think somebody's being left out. Let's think about that for a second. No, let's not. Let's move on. And rest confidently in Christ's work. That was his job. Christ's work for him for him uncapitalized i guess that's us chime in let me know i'm not sure <sighs> not sure he is saved by grace that was capitalized but it was also the beginning of the sentence so it probably wasn't him you know that guy that idea He is saved by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and will never be condemned. Never. Whew. No matter what. That's morality for you. They own that word too. All is well with his soul. His is uncapitalized, so I guess that might mean you, even if you're a her. <sighs> I hope. Because I, 
I don't want hell without dogs, but I definitely don't want them without women. How is it with you, my friend? And that's the end. Talent. Bible Chapel. There you go. That's enough of that. Anyway, that come from my that came from my grandparents. Go to meet go to wait. Sunday go to meeting hall, except it was also like Tuesdays and Thursdays for some hardcore addicts who needed a recharge through the week. To me, once was too much. And the idea of an eternity in that. You know what? I'm going to end with a poem I wrote. I put it on this channel, but nobody watched that, so that's fine. I'm going to do it again. It's called As a Child by Me. As a Child, written by yours truly. I dreamed of heaven as a child. I was up on cloud nine, the magic kingdom in the sky, where everything is divine. There was a band of angels. There was an orgasmic choir. There was a very long line of sinners doomed to hellfire. What if I died before waking, without my mind brightly bleached? So much doubt in my heart, perfection out of my reach. I dreaded heaven as a child. Sunday service that never ends? Stuck with the same hypocrites? And none of my friends. The end. It's somewhere up there. <laughs> Bye.